so this is very much a scanner. We've done a, a little bit of preparation to the leg. Not a great deal. I could take a lot more hair off, but I must admit, clients don't like you necessarily shaving them too close to the skin. And some mares react to that a little bit as well. A little bit of a wipe down with some hibby scrub and spirit. Um, a soaking with some lube. And this is a scanner that very much you can put the probe on and go. Uh, we have a lovely image there acquired already. And a nice user-friendly user menu with some quick keys so we can go to page two and do a dual screen split so that I can then freeze this image. We can, with a text button, we can record details of the leg. Right, four. We can update the image and then take a longitudinal section in the same plane. The same leg. Same side, just a longitudinal section. We have a marker at the top right hand corner to mark lateral and proximal. I can freeze the images together. I have all the client information programmed in. We can add additional information for the veterinary surgeon performing the test. And then I can save that image. Simple. So what we can actually do with this scanner is we can actually look back at my previous examination because all the scans are actually still on the scanner. The ticks down the side indicate that they've been archived. Um, if I go to Milner, Doris, uh, select, we can, we can review that set of images from the last examination. There's three images and we can scroll through them and look at the measurements from last time. Uh, and in this case, the right leg was 1.24 centimeters looking at the suspensions in that shot so I can review my previous examinations um, before I leave the property and decide whether I need to do any more tests. So we can see on this image we've got some really quite subtle changes here, some just some loss of longitudinal fibre pattern and I think we can probably, I'm slightly off centre so you can appreciate this area here as a slight loss of fibre pattern. But we can look at the cross-sectional area of this tenon very easily by using the calculation mode and we can measure the cross-sectional area of the superficial digital flex tendon just using the mouse pad as a to trace around. If I make a bit of an error like that and go off, I can just go back a couple of steps and select that. And there we have a cross-sectional area of 1.1. So once we have that measurement, we can save it and actually change to the second cross-sectional area measurement. So in theory, if we had a core lesion, and just for illustration purposes, I'm going to pretend we have a core lesion in this area. I can draw around the core lesion, select that, and it tells us how big the core lesion is in centimetres squared, but it also gives us a percentage of normal versus abnormal tendon as well. And those images are very easy just to record and save.